Hi everyone, in this video, you will learn how to set up AWS MFA or multi-factor authentication and how to effectively use AWS budget to manage the cloud cost for your business. This is part two of our nine part mini course on mastering enlightened production setup on AWS pre-tier. If you are new here, be sure to check out the previous videos in this playlist to get the full picture. So far, we have covered how to set up AWS free tier account to host N810 workflow automation for your business use. Make sure to watch from the start of the playlist to get a smoother learning experience. Click on this video to get started. All the nine parts of this mini course will be released on this YouTube channel over next nine days. And I promise, you will learn a lot through this mini course. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified as soon as I release the next video. To make things even easier for the course, I have put together an AWS free tier setup checklist for NHN workflow automation engine that you can download from the link in the description. This guide will help you follow along the course to avoid common mistake. With that said, let's get started. We go and do anything in the AWS console. The first thing that we would do to ensure that our setup remains free is we will go and type here as budget. So that will get you to this budget section. So click here and here in this budget, we will create a budget. What is budget? So this will ensure that you have a tight budget within which you will spend the money. So make sure you create a budget and because whatever we are doing here is completely free, we will select zero spend budget. This is a already defined template. Now just give it a name like, or you can give like a free trial and then you specify the email address here. So what this will do is once you spend even a cent, or even a, a penny or dollar or whatever it will send you an email that your utilization budget is going higher so make sure you optimize the service or something okay so make sure you create the budget first so that you come to know immediately when you're spending some money a lot of the time there are reports you will see across online that people have spent thousands and thousands dollar in the cloud and they just didn't have any clue that their money were being spent because remember, if you use or overuse things more than your free trials, AWS is going to actually charge you. So please make sure you create the budget first so that you get informed whenever your usage goes more than the free trials so that you at least keep track of what you are spending. And if you do not need it, you can just stop those services and you won't be charged. So just create the budget so my budget is set. So this is the first thing you should do. Please remember. If you are finding this content helpful, don't forget to hit that like button so that the mini course reaches out to a lot wider audience like you. And also subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the future videos in this series. Important thing is you should set up multi-factor authentication for your root user. Please remember your root user has all the super privileges around your um, account. So your root user can create another user. It can create any resources. So please make sure you protect the root user. So for that, what you need to do is you need to set up the multi-factor authentication to give another layer of security around your root account. So that even if your account username and password get exposed somehow, you still have another factor which is under your control. So go to IAM or Identity and Access Management Service. And then from here, once you set up your AWS account the first time, you will see this uh, option coming here that add MFA. So click here, add MFA, give any device name. Um, I'll just give it like, I'll just give it like my Android MFA. You can use passkey or security key. If you have any FIDO enabled device, this is the best thing that you can do. If you have a recent smartphone, uh, you can use the passkey. Uh, this is really, really strong authentication. But generally, if you do not have this, that's fine. Just select authenticator app and click next and then it will show you the QR code. So 
download Google Authenticator or similar other authenticator uh, there are multiple actually Microsoft Google RSA so use any one of it I'm going to use my Microsoft and then I'll just scan the QR code once I scan it it will generate the OTP within the authenticator app all you have to do is just provide two OTP back to back so I'll give first one here and then I'll wait for the new code to be generated within the app so please make sure to download Google Authenticator or any other authenticator. These are all free. Then I need to. That's it. So my MFA is added. That means my root account is secure. Even if my password is somehow exposed, no one will be able to come into the into the AWS account without the MFA. So that's it for today. Now you know how to set up AWS budget and also how you can secure your account using AWS MFA or multi-factor authentication. In the next video, we will discuss a few prerequisites before we set up an item for production. And of course, if you haven't downloaded it yet, don't forget to grab your free AWS free tier n setup checklist from the link in the description below. That will help make your learning experience and setup process even smoother so make sure you have subscribed and downloaded the free checklist to follow along seamlessly and thanks for watching take care and i'll see you on the next one